great evening. I went down to um, Key Largo. Oh my God. It was like a five, six hour trip because the traffic going down there, everybody wants to go down to the Keys for for the holiday, for New Year's Eve. I forget, you know, they have the drag queen that comes down in the big high heel down there. <laughs> so people go down there like crazy to, to celebrate uh, New Year's Eve. So the traffic was just bumper to bumper and it was like forever. I get three quarters of the way down there to go see this RV. And I call the guy, and uh, he goes, oh, well, uh, somebody put a deposit on it this morning. So <laughs> I go, what? <laughs> I said, I spoke with you last night. You knew I was coming, that I'm coming from a long way, you know. He goes, well, be when I left, somebody stayed here, and some guy came in, and then he said, I didn't even know about it until just now. So, there, there goes that out the door after six-hour trip. It was, you know, useless, basically. So now, again, I'm back to the drawing board. This is not going to be easy because uh, I don't know about, you know, uh, RVs are so expensive now, and then getting a loan on them I don't think is too easy. Um, you know, so I, I'm not sure how this is going to work. I filled out the paperwork on the loan thing, and then they want to know, well, where are you employed? Well, I'm on VA disability, so what do you put? You know, well, I want your employer's name. I want their address. I want their phone number. Well, there is no, you know, the U.S. government, okay? I don't know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so... Up in the air, uh, I'm still looking to um, see if I can find something. Yeah, wish I could find something like I used to have. Now, I used to have this little RV. It's maybe, uh, you know, they're small. It was like no more than 20 feet, I think, 21. The uh, little RV van I looked at today was 22 feet and so um, I know I don't want too long I want something small that I can park but anyway used to have one that was like a I think it was a Chevy engine a 350 and it was small it was old okay it was old I painted it inside and everything <laughs> But, you know, it was quite fine. It, the engine was good. I didn't have a problem with it. You know, it was small. I wish I could find something like that again. And then I had also, I used to have one of the little Toyota. It's like a four-cylinder Toyota camper van. <laughs> if you've ever gone... If you've ever gone up the hill in one of those, forget it. You almost have to get out and push it. So I wouldn't do that again, a four-cylinder. It's just, you know, the the camper is too heavy for that size of a motor. Um, so anyway, I'm back on the hunt for a, for a van, either a Class C or a Class B, small, maybe 20. You know, even 19 foot, even the smallest one, 19 up to maybe 21, 22 maximum. Um, so we'll see. I've been scouring Craigslist. I've been scouring RV Trader, and most of them are just so expensive. And either that or it's like a, a V8 engine or a V10 engine that's, you know, that I don't want to get into having to get, you know, eight miles per gallon. Um, that's not doable. 
anyway so I'm still on the hunt and we'll see what happens if I find something or not but uh, you know hope springs eternal <laughs> we'll see anyway so I hope everyone's having a great evening I see that my dinner stuff has arrived I'm starving so I'm gonna turn this off and go make a spinach souffle tonight <laughs> Yeah, big time. Stouffer's spinach souffle. That's my dinner tonight. Anyway, <laughs> all is good. <laughs> so I'll see you online. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're having a great, uh, well, run towards New Year's. Have a great evening. Aho.